Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rashmi and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little bunny. For this tutorial, I will be using double knit yarn in white for the main part of the body and pink for the dress. If you're after a written pattern, the link can be found in the description box below. We're now going to start off by making a magic circle. To do this, you're going to grab hold of your yarn and wrap it around your two fingers, making an X at the base. Turn them over and this is the side we're working with. We're going to put our crochet under the first loop and pull up a loop using the second bit of yarn like so. Now we're going to pull this bit of yarn using our crochet. So pick this up from here and we're going to move it through the loop on our crochet like this. And that makes your magic circle. Now if you're not a great fan of magic circles, we have an alternative which I will show you in a moment. So from here to start round one, you can work six single crochets within this circle. So let's go ahead and do this. So put your crochet back into the circle, yarn over, pull up a loop. Two loops on our crochet, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet. We are going to need six all together. Here's my second, third, fourth, fifth, and my sixth one. Then once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to close the gap between your stitches. So let's go ahead and do that. And when you do this, all your stitches are nice and close together. And from here, you're going to start working on top of the stitches around here. Okay, now if you are not a great fan of um, magic circles, I'm going to show you an alternative. We are going to undo this whole thing. We're going to start again. And this time I'm going to start off by making a slip knot. So use whatever method you like to create a slip knot. And once you have your slip knot, we're going to chain two. So yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop. Once you have your two chains, you're going to skip the first chain, which is next to your hook. And we are going to work our stitches in the second chain from your hook. So from here, you're going to go straight into that chain, stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and that's my first single crochet the effect is exactly the same and just use the method that you prefer here we go here's my second third fourth fifth and my sixth stitch now after once you've worked your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this end again, same as before, and that should eliminate the gap between your stitches. Now as you can tell, it doesn't make any difference which method you use because the effect is exactly the same. Now from here we're going to work our round two. To begin round two, you're going to locate your first single crochet of your previous round, which is right around here. I'm going to slip my crochet inside it, just the top part, Yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through two. We are going to work two single crochets in the same stitch. So that's my one single crochet. I'm going back in that stitch and working my second one. Here we go. Once you work two single crochets in the same stitch, that completes that particular part. We're going to go into the next one and work two single crochets again. Each time when you're working two single crochets in one stitch, it's called an increase. So we're going to work an increase in each of these stitches. Here's my third one. Again, working two single crochets in that same stitch again. Fourth one. Fifth. And my final sixth one. Finish off by working two single crochets in this stitch as well. Now at the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in the next stitch. 
As you may notice, we are working in a spiral. So we are not going to be closing any of these rounds. We're just going to continue each of these rounds one after the other. So that's my first single crochet off round three. From here, I'm going to work an increase in the next stitch, which means two single crochets in the same stitch like this. Now from here, I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of each of my rounds. So this one started at this first single crochet. I'm going to put this stitch marker in, which will allow me to just work on my stitches and not worry too much about the count. So from here, the repeat for this round is one single crochet followed on with an increase, a single crochet followed on with an increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. We're now going to start the next round. And to do this, you're going to work a single crochet in the next stitch, followed by another single crochet in the next stitch after that. So now we have two single crochets in a row. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. The first stitch of this round. And we're going to follow these two single crochets on with an increase. So two single crochets within the same stitch. And just like this, we're going to complete this whole round by working a single crochet, a single crochet, and an increase. So go ahead and finish this round and meet me back here. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. We're now going to start the next round. And in this round, you're going to have three single crochets in a row. So that's my first, second, and third. Now we're going to follow those three single crochets on with an increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. Just like this, we're going to follow this repeat to finish this round. So three single crochets in a row, followed on with an increase, three single crochets and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. We're now going to start our next round with a single crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to follow this on with three more single crochets to make the total four. So we're going to have four single crochets in a row for this round. And we're going to follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to complete this round by working four single crochets in a row, followed on with an increase, four single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 36 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row. And we're going to follow that on with an increase. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 42 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. I'm going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and that will complete our round and we're going to repeat this twice to have two rounds of just single crochet. At the end of two rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 42. You'll now notice that your work has started to curve and that is perfectly normal because we are planning to make ahead with this one so now we're going to start off the next round. So to do this, you're going to have six single crochets in a row, and then we're going to follow that on with an increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 48 stitches. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. We're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around to complete this round. And then we're going to repeat it one more time to have two rounds of just single crochet. After two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 48. We're now going to start the next round by working seven single crochets in a row. Here's my first, second, 
second let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place third fourth fifth sixth and seventh so once we have our seven single crochets we're going to work an increase so two single crochets in the same stitch like this once you have your seven single crochets and an increase you're going to repeat this process all the way around to complete this round at the end of this round your stitch count should be 54 we're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch and let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place we're now going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around to complete this round and then we're going to repeat the same process seven times to have seven rounds of just single crochet now just one little tip we are going to work a few stitches together when we were working quite a few of these rounds um, of single crochets sometimes it's very easy to lose count of how many rounds you have done so what i suggest is that you work a few stitches let's pull this stitch out so i don't lose it and i'm going to pull this thread that comes out from the center through around any of these stitches so maybe from the same one where we have just finished so i'll actually do it one next to it here we go so i'm going to pull this thread from the center through this stitch so that shows that this was the first round of single crochets that I started with because once I'm finished with this, this stitch marker moves on to the next round but I will still have this particular thread to count the rounds from here on as a reference. So go ahead and work your seven rounds of single crochet and meet me back here. At the end of seven rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 54. Now as you can see, I kept moving my stitch marker each time, however, this little thread that we pulled out from this stitch allows us to count how many rounds we have done. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we've finished seven rounds, and now we are going to take a moment to insert the eyes into this head. To do this, you're going to first of all make sure that the stitch that you finished with is facing the back. So I'm going to place this down gently like this, and I'm going to squish this head downwards so that the stitch I finished with is in the center like this now once you have the center outlined we are going to count the rounds down from the top and we're going to insert the eyes in between round 16 and 17 so let's go ahead and count that's round one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now this is my round 16. And we're going to insert the eyes in between round 16 and 17. So just the space right here. So now I know where I'm inserting the eyes. I'm going to move my, leave my nail there and just make sure that the stitch is still in the middle where we finished. I'm going to grab hold of the eye we're using I'm using one of these uh, teddy bear eyes these are security eyes once you put them in uh, they don't tend to come out so they are perfect for toys so this is the round they're going in so from the center I'm going to count five stitches over so there's one two three four five and I'm going to insert this one in this particular stitch so five stitches over let's put this in and grab hold of the other eye and now because we moved our hand from there we are going to count 10 stitches in between the two eyes so this eye is here i'm going to count 10 stitches in between one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and in the tenth one i'm going to insert this eye there we go once we've inserted the eyes, we are going to puff up the head again and have a quick look if we are happy with the positioning of the eye. And that looks perfect to me. Now, once you've got this in place, you're going to turn it around 
And once you're happy with the positioning, you're going to put the security backing on. Now be aware, once this goes on, it doesn't tend to come off. So we have to be very sure that we are happy with the eyes position. Now, let's place the second one in here as well. There we go. Now we can go ahead and start the next round. So to do this round, we are going to be working some decreases in. So let's take the stitch marker off and work a single crochet in our first stitch and place the stitch marker back in place. Here we go. After this, I'm going to work six more single crochets in a row to make the count to seven. So here we go, that's my one. And once you have your seven single crochets in a row, let's just count to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got my seven single crochets. I'm going to work a decrease. When we say decrease, we are simply working one single crochet, but between two stitches. So to do this, you're going to insert your crochet in the next stitch and pull up a loop. And we're going to do the same with the stitch after that. So insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop when you have three loops on your crochet we're going to yarn over and pull through all three in one go that reduces the number of stitches we have so from here you're going to work seven single crochets again here's one two three four five, six, and seven. Now I'm going to show you the decrease one more time. I'm going to insert your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, and do the same with the stitch after that. Insert your hook inside and pull up a loop. Three loops on your crochet. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three in one go. Now, just like this, you're going to follow the same repeat all the way around. So seven single crochets followed on with a decrease, seven single crochets and a decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 48. We're now going to work our next round. And in here, we're going to work six single crochets in a row. So here's my first one. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And work five more single crochets second third fourth fifth and sixth let's double check we've got six single crochets in a row one two three four five six once you have your six single crochets you're going to work a decrease to do this you're going to pull up a loop from the next two stitches one from the next one and one from the stitch after that. Once you have your three uh, three loops on your crochet, you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops in one go like this. And just like this, go ahead and finish this round by working six single crochets followed by a decrease, six single crochets, a decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 42 stitches. We're now going to start the next round and we're going to work five single crochets in a row followed on with a decrease five single crochets a decrease all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 36 stitches we're now going to start the next round and we're going to work four single crochets in a row so here's my first let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and let's follow this on with three more here's my second third and fourth once you have your four single crochets in a row we're going to follow this on with a decrease to do this pull up a loop from the next two stitches like this three loops on our crochet yarn over pull through all three follow this on with four single crochets a decrease and repeat that all the way around 
At the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. We're now going to start the next round. And in this round, you're going to work three single crochets in a row, followed on with a decrease. Three single crochets, decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. Now this is our last and final round and we're going to work two single crochets in a row. One, two, and we're going to follow this on with a decrease. Now pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on our crochet, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. Just like this, go ahead and finish this round and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to Work a slip stitch in our next stitch over. To do this, you're going to put your crochet inside the next stitch, pull up a loop and make this loop go through the loop on your crochet, like so. We're going to chain one and we're going to now go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail. We can pull this out of the stitch now and pull this stitch down to fasten this stitch off. Now that completes the head. We're now going to go ahead and fill this head up with some fibre fill and that completes this. We're now going to work on the arms and for this we are going to start off with a magic circle. Again, you can either work with a magic circle or chain two. So we're going to start off with a magic circle this time. So wrap the yarn around your two fingers, make an X at the base, turn them over. This is the side you're working with. Put your crochet under the first pull up a loop using the second bit of yarn from here. Now from here we're going to pick this bit of yarn with our hook like this and make it go through the loop on your crochet and that makes your magic circle. To start round one we are going to work six single crochets inside the magic circle. So slip your crochet inside, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops on your crochet. That's my first single crochet. Let's go ahead and work six all together. Here's my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to close the gap between your stitches. And there we go. Now, this brings your stitches nice and close together. You're going to now start round two. And in this round, you're going to work an increase in every single one of these stitches. So slip your crochet in the top part of your first single crochet from your previous round. And pull up a loop. Again, two loops on a crochet yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet going back into that same stitch. And let's go ahead and work another single crochet. That's two. three, four, as we have six stitches from our previous round, we should have 12 stitches by the end of this round. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and here's my last stitch. 11 and 12. Now that brings me to the end of this round. We can always pull on this end if there is a gap appearing again. There we go and that brings all the stitches close together again. Now we're going to start the next round and in this round you're going to work a single crochet followed on with an increase. Now from this round onwards I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of my rounds. So here's my first single crochet of this round. And I'm going to put a stitch marker. Now let's go ahead and follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. Just like this, go ahead and repeat the same process. So single crochet followed on with an increase, single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in your first stitch. And let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. 
and now I'm going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around to complete one round and we're going to repeat that three times to get three rounds of just single crochet. At the end of three rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. There we go. And we're now going to work three more single crochets in a row. So here's my second, third and fourth to make the total count to four. Now once you have your four single crochets, there's one, two, three, four. I'm going to work a decrease in the next stitch. To do this, you're going to slip your crochet in the next stitch, pull up a loop, do the same with the stitch after that and pull up a loop. Three loops on your crochet, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three of them in one go. Just like this, we are going to repeat the same combination. Four single crochets followed on with a decrease, four single crochets and a decrease. At the end of this round, I have a total of 15 stitches. We're now going to work the next round by working three single crochets in a row. So here's my first, second, and third single crochet and we're going to work a decrease in the next two stitches so pull up a loop from both of those two stitches three loops on our crochet yarn over and pull through all three in one go now that works our decrease so just like this you're going to finish this round by working three single crochets another decrease and then three single crochets and another decrease at the end of this round our stitch count should be 12 now before we go ahead and work any more stitches, we're going to take a moment and fill this uh, arm up with some fibre fill. So let's go ahead and grab some fibre fill and we're going to fill it up in this little space. And once we've done that, we're going to start the next round. Now to do this, you're going to work a single crochet in your next stitch. And we're going to put our stitch marker back in place like this and now you're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around to finish this round and then you're going to repeat this round 12 times to have 12 rounds of just single crochet at the end of 12 rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 12 we're now going to work one final round where we're going to squeeze this arm and work the stitches along the top. So before we do this, make sure that the arm is filled in just up to this level where we started working the decreases and the rest is laying flat like so. And from here, we are going to make sure that the stitch we're finished with is on one side. We're now going to chain one and slip your crochet in the next stitch from the front and making sure that it comes out from the back as well. So if I pull these apart, you will see that I've made my way through the front and the back of these stitches as well. From here, you're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through both of these. That's my first one. I'm going to do the same with the next stitch here. So making sure it goes from the front and it also goes from the back as well pull up a loop and let's go across and work six single crochets all together here's my third one fourth fifth one and my final number six once you worked your six single crochets this is what your work should look like and we're going to chain one and we're going to go ahead and snip this yarn off and pull it out of the stitch like this pull this stitch down to close this off and we're going to follow the same instructions and make one more of these arms going to start working on the legs and for this we are going to start off by working a slip knot this is an alternative to a magic circle 
but if you prefer working with magic circle by all means do now from here we are going to chain two there's one and two once you have your two chains you're going to work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook so slip your crochet in yarn over pull up a loop two loops on your crochet yarn over pull through two that's my first single crochet let's go ahead and work five more to make the total six And here's my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches like so. Now we're going to start the next round by working an increase in every single one of these stitches all the way around. So let's go ahead and slip our crochet in the top part of our first single crochet of our previous round. Pull up a loop and work my first single crochet and in the same stitch, we're going to go back again and work our second single crochet. That's my increase. Just like this, let's go ahead and work an increase in all the stitches. And here's my last one, an increase in the last stitch here, which makes my total stitch count to 12. Now from here I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of each round. So we're going to begin by working a single crochet. And I'm going to go ahead and use a stitch marker to identify the start of this round. And there we go. So follow this single crochet on with an increase. So I'm going to work two single crochets in the next stitch. And just like this, we're going to complete this round by working one single crochet, followed on with an increase, a single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're going to start the next round by working two single crochets in a row. So here's my first and here's my second. Once you have your two single crochets in a row, you're going to follow that on with an increase. And just like this, repeat this combination, two single crochets and an increase, two single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're now going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. At the end of this round, your total stitch count should still be 24. We're now going to start the next round by working 11 single crochets in a row. So here's my first. Let's go ahead and put the stitch marker back in place. That's five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. We're going to follow this on with an increase, which means two single crochets in the same stitch. And we're going to repeat this combination one more time to complete this round. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 26. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're now going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And we're going to repeat it three times to have three rounds of just single crochet. At the end of three rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 26. We're now going to start the next round with 11 single crochets in a row. 
Here's my first one. Let's go ahead and put the stitch marker back on. And now we're going to work 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here's the tenth one. So that makes the total count to 11. Once you have your 11 single crochets in a row, we're going to work a decrease in the next two stitches. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches like this. You'll have three loops on your crochet. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three of these in one go. And just like this, we're going to complete this round by working the same combination one more time. So 11 single crochets followed on with a decrease. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to work 10 single crochets in a row, followed on with a decrease, 10 single crochets and a decrease. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 22 stitches. We're now going to work nine single crochets in a row, followed on with a decrease, nine single crochets and a decrease. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 20 stitches. We're now going to start the next round by working one single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're now going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should still be 20. We're now going to start the next round by working eight single crochets in a row. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're going to follow this on with a decrease. We're going to pull up a loop from the next two stitches there we go three loops on your crochet yarn over and pull through all three in one go and just like this we're going to repeat this one more time so eight single crochets in a row and complete this round with a decrease at the end of this round your stitch count should be 18 and we're now going to start off with a single crochet and work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should still be 18. We're now going to start the next round by working seven single crochets in a row, followed on with a decrease, and repeat that one more time to complete this round. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 16. Now going to work a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should still be 16. We're now going to work a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And we're now going to follow this single crochet on with five more to make the total count to six. Here we go, once you have your six single crochets in a row, we're going to follow that on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from two stitches, yarn over, pull through all three loops in one go, and repeat this one more time to finish this round. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 14. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch, and we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And we're going to repeat that 10 times to have 10 rounds of just single crochet. Now, before you go ahead, I would suggest for you to go ahead and fill this leg up with some fiber fill because the neck of this leg is going to get smaller and it will get harder to fill this space up afterwards. At the end of 10 rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 14. 
We're now going to work one final round, but before you do that, be sure to fill this leg up um, up to this point, so halfway point. We need to make sure this is nice and firm and the rest of it needs to be just empty so we can just squeeze it close and then we can work our final round on the top. Now to begin, you're going to chain one and we're going to slip our crochet in the next stitch over and at the same time we need to make sure it comes back from the out from the back as well so if i pull these stitches apart you will see that it's gone from the front and the back in one go pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both of them now i'm just going to work a single crochet across the top in every single one of these stitches each time making sure it goes from the front and the back so pulling it apart again just to show you that it's gone through the front and the back of these stitches. Here's my third one. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. And my final one, number seven. So all together you should have seven single crochets on the top I'm going to chain one and now we're going to go ahead and snip this yarn off and pull it out of this stitch and that completes this leg now you're going to follow the same instructions one more time to create another one of these legs we're now going to start working on the ears and for this let's take our white yarn and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer let's go ahead and chain two to begin yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the loop now we are going to begin our round one and to do this you're going to skip the first chain and we're going to work six single crochets in the second chain from the hook here's second third fourth fifth and Sixth. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. This brings us to round two. Now I'm going to work one single crochet in the top part of our single crochet from our previous round. So let's get our crochet in this stitch like this. Yarn over, pull up a loop and work our uh, single crochet here. In the very next stitch, we're going to work an increase which means two single crochets in the same stitch. There we go. And we're now going to repeat this combination two more times. One single crochet followed on with an increase in the next stitch. A single crochet followed on with an increase to complete this round. Here we go. Now at the end of this round we should have a total of nine stitches now we're going to start the next round and in this round we're going to work two single crochets in a row followed on with an increase so one single crochet one single crochet and then an increase which is two single crochets in the same stitch one single crochet one single crochet followed on with an increase again and for the final time the same combination again one single crochet one single crochet followed on with an increase to complete this round as well now by the end of this round you should have a total of 12 stitches we're now going to start the next round and in this round you're going to work three single crochets in a row followed on with an increase. Now from here on I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of each of my rounds. Here we go. So go ahead and work three single crochets in a row followed on with an increase and repeat this combination three times to complete this round. At the end of this round you should have a total of 15 stitches we're now going to work the next round and in this round you're going to have four single crochets in a row so here's my first second 
third and fourth once you have your four single crochets you're going to follow this on with an increase so two single crochets in the same stitch and repeat this combination twice to finish this round at the end of this round you should have a total of 18 stitches we're now going to start the next round with one single crochet in the first stitch let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and from here you're going to work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and you're going to repeat this 11 times to have 11 rounds of just single crochet at the end of 11 rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 18 we're now going to work three more rounds to complete this year and we're going to start working decreases so in this particular one we're going to work four single crochets in a row first here's my second third and fourth let's go ahead and put our stitch mark marker back in place it's one two three four and we are going to work a decrease in the next two stitches to do this you're going to pull up a loop from the next two stitches like this and once you have three loops on your crochet you're going to yarn over and pull through all three in one go just like this now let's show you this one more time so four single crochets one two three and four and then we're going to work a decrease pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your crochet yarn over and pull through all three in one go now work this combination one more time to complete this round four single crochets followed on with a decrease now at the end of this round you should have a total of 15 stitches in this round we're going to work three single crochets in a row there's one two and three and you're going to follow this on with a decrease pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your crochet yarn over and pull through all three we're going to repeat this combination two more times to finish this round so three single crochets followed on with a decrease twice more at the end of this round you should have a total of 12 stitches we're now going to work our final round and in this round you're going to work two single crochets in a row and then we're going to follow this on with a decrease so we're going to pull up a loop from the next two stitches like this yarn over pull through all three loops in one go then let's repeat this twice more to complete this round so single crochet single crochet followed on with a decrease in the next two stitches one and two and let's do this one more time single crochet single crochet and a decrease and that completes our ear now we are going to finish off our work by working a slip stitch in the stitch next to it like this so pull up a loop make it go through the loop on your crochet and I'm going to chain one now let's go ahead and snip this yarn off and pull it out of this stitch and pull this down now that completes one of the ears you're going to follow the same instructions one more time to create another one of these we're now going to work on the body and for this grab hold of the color that you're going to use for the dress and we're going to work either a magic circle or a slip knot whatever method you prefer so from here if you're using a magic circle go ahead and start round one by working six single crochets in your magic circle or if you're working a slip knot let's go ahead and chain two from here you're going to skip the first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook slip your crochet in pull up a loop yarn over pull through both that's my first single crochet let's go ahead and work six all together four five and my final one six 
Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull up this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And we're going to start round two. For this, you're going to slip your crochet in the top part of your first single crochet of your previous round, like this, and work and increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. Here's one, and here's my second one. And just like this, you're going to go all the way around and work and increase in all of these stitches from your previous round. Before we had six single crochets, so by working and increase in each of these stitches, you should end up with 12 stitches all together. And there we go. Once you have your 12 single crochets, you're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in your first stitch. And now from here on, I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of my round. And I'm going to follow this single crochet on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And we're going to complete this round by following this combination one single crochet followed on with an increase single crochet and increase all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 18 stitches and in this round we're going to work two single crochets in a row that's one and two followed on with an increase which means two single crochets in the same stitch now you're going to follow this combination all the way around to complete this round at the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. We're now going to work this round with three single crochets in a row, followed on with an increase, and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. We're now going to start the next round by working four single crochets in a row. Here's my second. Let's go ahead and put the stitch marker back in place. third, fourth, and we're going to follow this on with an increase, so two single crochets in the same stitch. Now from here you're going to follow the same combination, four single crochets followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round you should have a total of 36 stitches. We're now going to start the next round and we are going to do this by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. Now we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And we're going to repeat it three times to have three rounds of just single crochet. At the end of three rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 36. We're now going to work some decreases in this particular round. So we're going to start off by working 16 single crochets in a row. So here's my first, second, let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And here's my 16th one. Once you have your 16 single crochets, you're going to work a decrease. To do this, you're going to pull up a loop from the next stitch and the stitch after that, like this. You have three loops on your crochet, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three in one go. Just like this, you're going to complete this round by repeating the same thing one more time. 16 single crochets followed on with a decrease. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 34 stitches. We're now going to start the next round and in this round you're going to have 15 single crochets in a row followed on with a decrease, 15 single crochets and a decrease to complete this round. At the end of this round you should have a total of 32 stitches. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch 
let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and now we're going to follow this single crochet on with single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count is still 32 and now we're going to work one more round of just single crochets but this time we're going to work just in the back loop of these stitches so if i was to turn these stitches over you can see that each stitch is made up of this v shape now each time when we're working this single crochet round you're going to just catch the back loop so to do this you're going to take your crochet and miss the front part of it and we're just going to catch the back part I'm going to show you what it looks like if I was to go through both of them. So if I went through both, you will see this V shape on top. Now, if I was to go just through the back, you'll see there is just one line. So in this round, you're going to work a single crochet just on the back loop of all of these stitches. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. So still working exactly the same way, however, only around the back loop of these stitches so let's show you one more time this is the v-shape and i'm going to slip my crochet in the middle and isolate the back yarn over and work a single crochet right there and just like this go ahead and work a single crochet all the way around you should still have a total of 36 by the end of this round at the end of this round stitch count is still 32 and we're now going to start the next round and in this round we're going to work 14 single crochets in a row so here's my first let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place second third Eleventh, twelfth, thirteen, and fourteen. Once you have your fourteen single crochets, you're going to work a decrease in the next two stitches. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches, three loops on your crochet, yarn over, pull through all three. Now repeat this uh, combination one more time to complete this round. So we're going to have fourteen single crochets and follow that on with a decrease. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. We're now going to start the next round. And in this round, you're going to have 13 single crochets all together. And then we're going to follow that on with a decrease and work this combination twice to finish this round. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 28 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. And let's go ahead and put the stitch marker back in place. Now we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat this twice to have two rounds of just single crochet. At the end of two rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 28. We're now going to start the next round and in this round you're going to have 12 single crochets in a row. So let's go ahead and work that. Here's my first one and let's put our stitch marker back in place. Second, last two, that's eleven and twelve. Once you have your 12 single crochets, you're going to work a decrease in the next two stitches. So you're going to pull up a loop from two of the next stitches like this and we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops in one go. And just like this, we're going to repeat this combination one more time to complete this round. So 12 single crochets followed on with a decrease. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 26 stitches. We're now going to start the next round and in this round you're going to have 11 single crochets in a row followed on with a decrease 11 single crochets and finish this round with another decrease at the end of this round you should have a total of 24 stitches 
We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And now we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And we're going to repeat it twice to have two rounds of just single crochet. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 24. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And now we're going to follow this single crochet on with nine more to make the total count to 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's make sure that we've got 10 all together. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need one more. And once you have your 10 single crochets in a row, you're going to follow that on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from two stitches and yarn over and pull through all three loops that were on your crochet. And finish this round by working another 10 single crochets followed on with a decrease. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 22. And we're going to start the next round by working nine single crochets in a row, followed on with a decrease, nine single crochet, and finish this round with another decrease. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 20. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch here. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. Now from here we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat it twice to have two rounds of just single crochet. At the end of this round you should have a total of 20 stitches. We're now going to start the next round and in this round you're going to have eight single crochets in a row. So that's my first one. There's my eighth one. And once you have your eight single crochets, you're going to follow this on with a decrease. Again, to work this, you're going to pull up a loop from two stitches and yarn over, pull through all three loops that were on your crochet. We're going to work this combination one more time. So that's one, two, three, four, five. seven, eight. Again, we're going to follow those eight single crochets on with a decrease. Now that finishes off this body. Now we're going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch over like this. So pull up a loop from there and we're going to make this loop go through the loop that we had on our crochet just like this. Going to chain one and now I can go ahead and snip this yarn off leaving a long tail so we can use that to stitch the head and the body together. Going to pull this down and that completes the body. Now we're going to be working on the skirt and this time we're going to be working on the front loop of these stitches which I will explain in a minute. Go ahead and fill this up with fibre film and then meet me back here. Once you fill this body up with some fibre film, this is what the body should look like. Now we are going to first of all make sure that the stitch that we finished with is on either side, either this side or that. And we are now going to connect some new yarn on this, in this round. So as you can see there is a few stitches that you can, they are more visible than the others. It's because the round above we worked in back loop only. So this is the front loop of those stitches. It's visible, so this is where we're going to attach our new yarn to make the skirt for this bunny. Now to do this, what I'm going to suggest is that you go directly underneath this bit where you finished, trace it down and you're going to put your crochet around just the front loop like this. I'm going to pull the yarn through and we're going to attach this just with a knot. 
going to knot this in place nice and securely. There we go. I'm going to just give it a double knot just to make sure that it's nice and secure. Here we go. Once we've done this, leave this on the bottom and we're going to slip our crochet back into that stitch just around the front loop. Now you're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. We're going to chain three. One, two and three. This chain three is going to be considered as your first double crochet. Let's move this out of the way and we're now going to yarn over our crochet and we're going to work a double crochet around the next front loop of these stitches. So as you can see it's right here. I'm going to go around the stitch like this and I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. Now I should have three loops on my crochet. There we go. And yarn over, pull through the first two loops, two loops on our crochet, yarn over, pull through the next two loops. That's another double crochet. Now I'm going to work two double crochets in every single one of these front loops. So yarn over, go back into that space right here and work another double crochet like this. Yarn over, move on to the next stitch. So just the front loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on our crochet, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, back into that same stitch again, and we're going to work another double crochet in the same stitch. So just like this, you're going to work all the way around until you come back to the beginning, and we're going to work two double crochets in every single one of these front loops. Once you finish working the stitches all the way around, we're going to be working a slip stitch on top of our chain three. So here's our chain three, this first one, second and third. I'm going to slip stitch in the top part of my third chain. So you pull up a loop from there and we're going to make this loop go through the loop on our crochet to complete this part of the skirt. Now I'm going to start the next round by working chain three again. And we're going to go back into that same stitch. If you can see there, there is a space right there. And we're going to work another double crochet in that space. And from here, I'm going to work double, two double crochets in every single one of these stitches all the way around. So let's just do one together. So we're going to put our crochet in there. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two back again into the same stitch and work another double crochet and just like this work an increase double crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around at the end of round two of this skirt you will see some lovely waves coming along now we are going to finish this round off again with a slip stitch on top of our chain three so here's my first second and there's the third chain slip your crochet in there pull up a loop and make this loop go through the loop on your crochet like so. Chain three, and we're going to do one more round of double crochets, and this is my first double crochet. Now in this round, I'm going to work only one double crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around, just to gain some length. So go ahead and work back, meet me back here. At the end of this round, we are going to finish the, um, we're now going to finish this round off by working a slip stitch in our third chain. Here we go, pull up a loop from there, make this loop go through your loop on your crochet and that works a slip stitch. Now that completes the skirt for this bunny, we're going to chain one and go ahead and snip off this yarn and pull it out of this stitch. Now we can use a darning needle to work this end into the skirt later on. Here we go, now that completes the body with the skirt and we are going to move on to joining all of these components together. Now onto the bow and for this you're going to take the same pink yarn as the dress and we're going to work a slip knot. Let's go ahead and chain 10. Yarn over, pull through the loop once, twice and keep going until you have 10 chains. There we go, now I have my 10 chains. I'm going to chain one more as a turning chain and I'm going to go back into this chain here. So skip this chain that we've just worked 
and go on the top part of the chain before that like so pull up a loop from there two loops on our crochet yarn over pull through both that's my first single crochet we are now going to work backwards on top of these stitches and work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way to the end Now at the end of this round you should have a total of 10 single crochets. Now each time when you're turning the chains and start working on top of these stitches you're going to chain one, turn your work around and now I'm going to be working on top of these stitches here. Now go ahead and work a single crochet on top of every single one of these stitches all the way to the end. Again you will have 10 single crochets by the end so using the same method you're going to work five rows of single crochet. Here's my first row, this is second. So go ahead and work five rows and then meet me back here. I've now finished my five rows of single crochet. We're now going to work one round of single crochet. So we're going simply all the way around the shape and we are going to work in single crochets all the way around to give us a neater edge on both of these sides and it will just work a little bit more on these two sides as well. So to do this, you're going to chain one and go onto this side here, slip your crochet in and we're going to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both of the loops in one go. Now that's my first single crochet. As we have five rounds here, or five rows should I say, we are going to work five single crochets along the top. So that's my first. Here's the second. Third. Fourth. And now the fifth one is in this corner right here. And instead of just working one single crochet there, because we're turning the corner, we're going to work three single crochets in the same spot. So one, back into that same stitch. Here's my second. And back again to the same stitch. And here's my third. Now what I'm going to do is with this thread, I'm going to hold this along the top. So this gets weaved into the top as well as we are working on these stitches. So from here, um, we are going to carry on working single crochets all along the top, just like this. And once you reach the other corner, now we're going to do the same thing again. So instead of just doing one single crochet there, as we are turning the corner, we're going to do three in the same spot. That's one, back into the same spot, two, and one more time, three, and that allows us to turn the corner. And now we can work on top of these stitches. Now we should be able to work four more single crochets as the three that we worked in here, one counts towards the five on this edge. So one is done. Let's work four more. Two, three, four, and that's the last corner done. And I'm not going to work um, a row over here because this is already a single crochet row, so it gives us a perfect, nice and neat finish here. So once you get to this, so we've just gone one, two, and three sides done. Chain one to complete. And I'm going to now snip this yarn off and we can use a darning needle to work this end in. Pull this out of the stitch and pull it down. And there we go. Now that rectangle is ready to become a bow. So we're going to take some yarn and make this into a bow in a second. We're now going to assemble all the components together and before we begin we are going to 
um, embroidery a nose onto this particular bunny. So to do this, I've already gone ahead and threaded my darning needle with some brown yarn. You can always use black if you wish to or any other color that you would like to do. And I've gone ahead and knotted the other end as well. Now holding your bunny's head in place, you can either use one of these pins to identify exactly where you want the nose to be positioned, like so, and how wide or big you want it to be. So by just by doing this, you're able to see that if it's equidistance from the eyes and uh, at this point you are obviously able to reposition it. And there we go, that's where I want the nose to be. And if you wish to just do it without uh, using these pins, that's totally fine as well. Now, once you've identified exactly where you want the nose to be, you're going to take your darning needle, stick it into the fibre fill and allow your needle to come out from where this pin's head is. So just like this. So I've got the needle coming out from there. I can remove this pin now and I'm going to pull the thread out all the way. So the end has got stuck inside the fibre fill, so this should not be coming out at all. Now on this side, I'm going to move the head out of the way a little bit so we can see which stitch the pin is um, inserted in. And I'm going to insert my needle into the same stitch like this. So now I can remove this pin as well. And we're going to wriggle the pin around and make our way through some fibre fill. And we are going to allow the needle to come out from the other side one more time. So we are making it come out from the other side like this. There we go. And once it's come out from the other side where the thread initially was, I'm going to pull it through. I'm just making sure that the bits of yarn are laying flat and evenly like this. And we're going to do this one more time. Slip it in from this side, take it out from the other side and allow it to pull through. Again, making sure that they are, the, or both the yarns are laying side by side and not pinching or we're going to do this a few times until you've got desired size for your mouth or the nose and we are going to I'm going to do this one more time here there we go and there we go my the nose for this bunny is finished and now I'm going to insert this needle into the center right around here and I'm going to make this come out at the base of this neck or the mouth. Here we go, just like so. And just by doing this, I'm going to pull this thread in and go back into the center and that will create a mouth. Now this time I'm going to allow the needle to go through some fiber fill and come out through the neck space right here. And that creates the mouth for this bunny. I'm going to secure this thread into this fibre fill um, just by giving it a little knot. So create a loop, pull your thread through it and that knots this in place like this. We can create a couple of knots if you wish to just to secure this really well. And there we go. Just going to do this one more time. And once we're done with this, we are going to snip this yarn off and I like to just allow it to sit inside so nothing gets pulled. So there we go. We're just going to move this in, stuff this inside the fibre fill. There we go. And that completes the mouth for this bunny. Now onto the ears and we are going to take the tail from the ear and put that into the darning needle. Once you've done that, make sure that the stitch that you finished with is on one corner and allow the rest of the ears to be squished. Do not fill this with any fibre fill at all. 
we're now going to stitch this on top of the bunny's head. Now to find out exactly where we're going to do this, I'm going to turn this head around and show this to you. This is the center of this head, that's our round one. I'm going to start stitching this ear around round three, so one, two, three. So this is round three, so I'm going to stitch around it. So I'm going to insert the needle from one side and allow it to come out from just around that round. So here we go. Now I've located exactly where it's going. I can face the bunny the right way. And once we know exactly where this ear is going, I can start stitching this by holding the ear back and going once through the ear and then making my way through the stitches on the head. I'm just going to secure that bond a little bit more by going through the same stitch one more time and pulling it down. And just make your way across and make your way through the head once and then through the ear once as well. So each time I'm going through the same stitch and on the head and the ear twice just so the bond is nice and tight and secure. Keep moving across making sure that the ear is facing the right way and you don't stitch it sideways on the head. So I'm holding it straight and I'm stitching this on on top of the head. Let's make that bond a little bit stronger again by going through this third stitch again. Two more stitches left so I'm just gonna go through it like this. Once through the head, once through the ears and just the end left now. I'm going to secure that in the same place just like we did at the beginning. So going through the same stitch one more time. And there we go and that secures the ear of this bunny now just to make sure that everything is perfectly in position you're going to put the needle insert the needle from the front make it poke up from the back like this the back of the ear and once we have this we are going to just secure this from the back as well this is not needed, but I like to do this just to make sure that the ear is attached very well because it's going to be a toy for a little one and I don't want the things to fall out, obviously. And once you've secured it from the back as well, you're going to stick your needle inside the same stitch as you finished with. And we are going to, it's a bit tight, create a loop like this. We're going to insert our needle inside this loop and pull this tight and that creates a knot in place and once you've created this knot this should not get undone and is perfectly secure now you're going to insert this needle again into the same stitch make it go through some fiber fill and allow it to stick out from the other side from anywhere from the head really so wiggle your way through And here it goes. And once it's come out, you just pull it out. There we go. And I can now go ahead and snip the extra bit off. And if you squeeze it, the extra bit, it just disappears. And there we go. This ear is attached on and you're going to follow the same instructions and attach the other ear on as well. We're now going to work on attaching the legs and arms onto this body. So we are going to make sure that the stitch we finished with is on one side like this and give the rest of the body a little squeeze so it's a little bit more flatter at this point because it allows us to stitch the arms and legs in the right place this way. So keeping this squished as you can see makes this area quite narrow and same at the bottom as well It's nice and narrow. Now you're going to grab hold of the leg and thread the yarn into your darning needle and we are going to hold this uh, body straight like this 
and we're going to attach the leg on this side like so now we are going to do this in round six so there's one round round one round two three four five six so here's round six and that's where i'm going to attach this leg across the top like this now holding that in place we're going to first of all make sure that it is in line with the top part so where we've just squished this you can see that this is the edge and it needs to be in line at the bottom as well there we go and once you are happy with the positioning of the leg you are going to hold that in place and you're going to make your way through one stitch at a time across the leg and once at, uh, across the body so I've just gone through the body and we are going to make that connection a little bit more stronger by going through the leg and that same stitch one more time. There we go. And moving on to the next stitch, go through once through the leg, once through the body. Each connection, I'm going to go through it twice just so the connection is really nice and secure once through the leg and one stitch through the body go through that one more time here we go the leg and here we go across the body as well just isolate one stitch at a time this will make for a nice and clean connection between the leg and the body there. and just like this make your way across and right at the end going to turn this over so we can just look at this clearly and once through the stitch on the leg and from the body and once we've got this we're going to go through this nice well one more time to make this nice and neat and we're going to insert this in back into that same stitch pick the leg up lift it over insert it so it comes out from the bottom of these stitches like so and we're going to create a knot by sticking this needle inside or around one of these stitches like this and we are going to create a loop make this needle go through the loop and we're going to pull this down when you pull it down this knot is so small that it just disappears but the connection is really nice and strong so once that's done you put this needle back into the same stitch and you're going to wiggle your way through some fiber fill and allow the needle to come out from another end of the body anywhere there we go and once it comes out you're going to pull this down and we can now go ahead and snip this and that leg is perfectly attached you're going to follow the same instructions one more time and attach the other leg on as well i've now finished with the legs now let's move on to the arms and go ahead and thread your darning needle squeeze the top of this neck again making sure that this stitch is still on the side so it's consistent with the bottom so as you can see it's perfectly in line and we're going to do the same with the arms as well so holding this along the side like this making sure that the stitch you got finished with with the neck was finished with is is in the middle we are now going to secure the arm around the neck so just going through these stitches like this when we're doing this one i'm not going to go through it twice because we are going to stitch the neck and the head together and that will allow the stitch to be much more stronger so at the moment we are just doing this so it's holding 
the arm in place. So there we go. you've done it you're going to secure this in place by just giving this little bit a knot and by creating a loop making the needle go through it and pulling it down and there we go we can now get rid of this thread and we can stuff this inside the center as well go ahead and follow the same instructions and attach the arm on the other side as well I've now finished with the arms and I have gone ahead and snipped these bits of yarn down and we are going to just simply stuff this inside the neck area right here so out of the way now let's go ahead and grab the head and use your darning needle and thread this part of the yarn into your darning needle now we are going to stitch the head and the body together I'm going to zoom out for this part there we go now, when we are connecting these two, we need to obviously um, join these two one stitch at a time. As you might remember, there were 18 stitches around the neck here and 18 stitches around the body on the top here as well. So they should be lining perfectly. So my stitch that I finished with is on this side at the back. So what I'm going to do is while holding the head in place, I'm going to move this head down so the stitch that I've finished with is visible right here there we go and if I was to hold it back like this I can see that this should be lining up with this corner right here so we are going to take one stitch at a time and we're going to stitch these two together so let's secure the head and the body together by just um, connecting this one stitch and I'm going to go through it a couple of times so that the bond is quite nice and strong and after once you've done this you are simply going to go through one stitch on the head and one stitch on the body just one at a time just knock the camera okay next stitch one stitch on the head there we go just isolating one stitch and then one stitch on the body and slowly take your time with this we're going to go one stitch on the head one stitch on the body and we're going to work all the way around and each time as you can see when i work my way around i pull on this bit of yarn so that the connection is nice and firm as well so nice and tight so one stitch on the head one stitch on the body now when we get to this part where the arm is we are going to make sure that we are keeping the arm down and then stitching the top part so it might be beneficial if you just keep the gap between the two a little bit large so you are able to see more clearly so one stitch on the head one stitch on the body Pull it through and once it's made through you just pull it down so that that comes together nicely so you one stitch on the head and this time I'm going to catch the stitch that we stitched on the arm here as well so going through making sure that the stitch on the arm has been caught with it as well just like this and make your way through and this time I'm not going to pull this just yet I'm going to just move on to the next stitch and there we go leave it loose because it just allows you to see a little bit more clearly and here we are that's the next bit and once you've done three or four stitches I would just go ahead and pull these down so you don't have too much of that to do later on and there we are nice and neat and just like this carry on and stitch the head and the neck together by working one stitch 
through the head, one stitch through the body. I've now made my way around to the beginning and just to show you how to close this off. So I'm going to go through that same stitch one more time. There we go. And this time round, I'm going to create a loop. Actually, I might have to leave this a little bit, a little bit longer. There we go. Let's try this. So go through the stitch, making sure that you create a loop in the process like this. There is my loop right there. I'm going to put my needle through this loop and pull this out. And when you pull this, this will create a knot in place and this should secure your stitch perfectly. I'm going to insert my needle back into that same, very same stitch and allow the needle to go through some fibre fill and come out from another part of the body. And it's simply come out from here and I'm going to go ahead and snip this. And now the neck and the head is attached together. We can just give it a little squeeze so it can regain its shape. And there we go. Now onto the final detail, which is this little bow. So this rectangle that we've made, we're going to create a bow out of this. Now I've gone ahead and threaded this darning needle with the pink thread, uh, pink yarn that I use for this particular thing. So go ahead and knot that up in the other end and we are going to grab hold of this fold the rectangle in half and we're now going to start threading in the middle so like this so in an in and out motion like this we are going to thread make our needle go through this center part like this so once you've done this you're going to pull this all the way through and we are going to slip our needle into this section because as this was knotted if i do this this should create a loop and it's going to pull all these stitches in so keeping it on this side and now let's pull this down there we go now that creates a nice and neat look for your bow and from here i'm going to roll this bit of yarn across a few times like this. I would suggest for you to go over it six times, but if you want to go a little bit more or less, it's entirely up to you. Once you've gone over this center part a few times, you're going to take the needle and you're going to move these top bits out of the way and just your needle around the stuff that you've gathered here the yarn that you gathered pull across pull it out and we're going to go back into this like this create a knot this knot will appear at the back so it shouldn't be a problem there we go and now we're going to attach this onto the head let's take this Position it where you want it, in the centre or the side. So I think I want mine on the side like this. So you're going to simply insert this needle inside or right next to the ear. And we're going to pull the thread out. We're going to go in around these stitches just like this. And we're going to go back into this space here again. Coming out from the same stitch one more time. Now if you pull it down, this will secure it nice and well. Here we go. Now I'm going to create a knot, so pull this forward. And go around one stitch like this. Create a loop. Here's my loop. I'm going to slip this needle back inside the loop and we're going to pull this down again and this should create a knot in place. There we go. And we're going to insert this needle back inside in the same stitch 
and allow it to go through some fiber fill and come out from another side of the head. Here we go. I'm gonna pull it out and squeeze this to position it right. And cut this off. And there we go, we have attached the bow on top as well. Now you can go ahead and use a darning needle to work this these two ends into the edge of this skirt. And that will bring us to the end of our dot. I've now gone ahead and worked the ends of this skirt in as well. And there you have it. This is the complete bunny. And this is what it looks like from the back as well. There we go. If you enjoyed making this bunny with me, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.